Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with a brand new show, uh, Reaction. This is uh, A Place Further Than The Universe, episode number one, Reaction. Okay, uh, this is a show which I was actually hearing about for quite a long while. When it aired, I had actually not checked it out. But then I started hearing a lot of good things about this. And uh, you know, like that's why I, I already had my plans on reacting to this. So I made a poll and this like you know this show had was the like you know the uh like won by a huge margin uh 45 percent of the votes uh came on this show and you know like i made a few other uh like you know like a few other shows were also in the options as well uh which i also am quite like you know wanted to check out but this one won by a huge margin 46 percent of votes like almost half of the people want me to react to this out of five shows this won by 46 percent so that's huge so yeah so that's why i'm starting this show today uh, in my channel my uh, i'm starting to react to this show today and uh, i'm looking forward to this uh, this is a slice of life show and um Honestly speaking, uh, I don't have any idea what this is about. Uh, as far as I know, this is uh, about a, f a group of girls, I think, going to Antarctica. I think that's all I know. Nothing else. I think it's like the journey or something, which I'm quite curious about. And I would love to, like, you know, watch this. And uh, this, this was in the back of my list for quite a long while. And uh, yeah, I'm glad that I'm finally watching this and reacting to this. So let's see what this is about. Uh, and I love slice of life shows, you know, slice of life shows are one of my favorite slice of life animes. And this is, I think, uh, one of the best slice of life. So really looking forward to it. Let's go. So this is a place further than the universe episode number one reaction. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Okay, here's the countdown. Three, two, one go okay okay Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? Um. Oh no. Oh no, what? <laughs> okay, that's funny. She's still sleeping, even with with that on her face. That's impressive, I have to say. <laughs> okay, she finally awakens. <laughs> Tamaki Mari. <laughs> Don't blame you. Oh, wow. <laughs> Do not open without permission, Rin. <laughs> Things I want to do in high school. Keep a diary. Okay, I wasn't able to read everything. Okay, keep a diary. Skip school once, okay. Go on a journey, okay, without a plan. Get the most out of youth. <laughs> um what's happening what wait what <laughs> oh this is the opening okay a place further than the universe a story that lead led to antarctica there you go antarctica Well, I have to say I'm quite impressed by the uh, visuals, like, it, it, the visuals are amazing. I wonder who, which studio animated this, I'll check it out after it ends, if I remember. 
That's some impressive drawing. Okay, yeah, so obviously they're going to take a ship, like... I think, yeah, obviously that's the only way you can go to Antarctica, I guess. This would be very informative, I have to say, like, I'm really looking forward to this. Oh, Madhouse! Okay! <laughs> the animation. Makes sense. Okay, as I was saying, this will be very informative. I'm quite looking forward to how they're going to go there, and I think... Like, at least I'll learn a lot of things from this anime. Like, you know, like, I have no idea, like... <laughs> okay. <laughs> One million yen for youth. Million? Okay. Um... Wow, this girl, this girl is quite, um, like, okay, I'll talk about it later. Make most of it of youth. Half of us don't do that. Like, just look at me. <laughs> okay, the first one. This school for one day. <laughs> yeah. I think everyone has. Ah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. It's good to have friends, you know, like accompanying you on your journey. <laughs> oh my god, I hope her mom doesn't realize what she's trying to do. Wait, who's this? Oh, sister. Ah, uh, well. Okay. First time playing hooky. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's a good friend. <laughs> wow, it's kind of a Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, to be honest, it's, it's like a weird feeling, like, you know, like you're going somewhere else and you see like your friends or in, in, like, you know, people in school uniforms kind of going the opposite direction. Wait, what? The... Oh my god, I was just... <laughs> she comes, oh my god. A plane could crash. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. True. Oh.
Mm. Yeah, everybody feels like that. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> what the oh or someone else whoa what's that Okay. Oh my god, she 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 boarded the train. She's gone. Was she wearing the same uniform? Whoa! Oh my god. Get oh my god. <laughs> Get one One million. Okay, calm down. The I think the girl who dropped this is freaking out even more. Okay, same school. All right. She had black hair, I think. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Like you cannot go sniffing people and say. <laughs> okay. For. I. I don't think she's a first year, is she? Okay, there you go. Okay. He's probably freaked out just since he lost the money and everything. But she still came to school. Kind of impressive. Oh my god! Yo! Yo. <laughs> that scared me! Oh my god! The, the sound was so loud! Oh yeah, there you go, she's freaking out. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Okay. Um. Hello there. Uh. That was a change in personality. Oh my god, she's sniffing everyone. <laughs> Did you drop this? Um, yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh well yeah it would have been dangerous if like you know someone else found it thank god she found oh wait what a place further than the universe oh
Oh, so is that why she was saving money? Uh, study and go to Antarctica. Yeah. Wow. Million and doing part time. Hmm. <laughs> oh, everyone calls her Antarctica? Yeah, because she wants to go there. Oh my god, no game, no life. What the hell? Yo. <laughs> I think that's even still short, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. Well. Yeah, let's go to Antarctica. <laughs> uh, place first. Okay, there you go. There's the book. Wow. Sorry, yeah. He's going to a part time, I'm guessing again. He needs to save the money. <clears throat> what? Oh my god, are these bullies or something? Um, okay, yeah, these are bullies. What the? What the hell? <laughs> that face. Oh, boy, God. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what the teacher will do if they ever get to know. Hmm. <laughs> yeah so this probably really resonates with her you know um <laughs> oh okay so that's how they oh my god okay so this is how the group starts i guess like i saw there are four girls like you know i'm guessing they'll be the group Oh, 
اه हम्म अंटार्कटिक सर्वे शिप ओके आइस ब्रेकर शिरा से She needs to tell her mom first. Uh, I'm talking about um, what was her name? Shirase, or I forgot her name. The main girl. All right. <laughs> well, she's not here. <laughs> she's like, my God, sister, wake up <laughs> earlier this time. Okay. Oh, this is. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That looks good. <laughs> and that costs a lot of money. Yeah, don't use that. <laughs> I'm going finally going on a journey. Oh yeah. That's her friend. <laughs> Picture of Mount Fuji. Okay. There you go. Our destination. Time to check out the boat, I guess. Yeah. Okay. She does it. Wow, so long distance.
<laughs> on a boat. <laughs> Place further than Duna. Wow. Okay, this is good. Oh, wait. There's something left. Oh, this girl. Um, who's working part time. Um, yeah, she's, she's one of the other girls, isn't she? Uh, who's going to join them? There are four of them. So. Okay, and, and she kind of like, you know, overheard them talking. So I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay, so. Wow, that was a that was a good first episode. And I can kind of understand now why people like, you know, like say this, uh, this show is so good. Um, I'm loving the, the premise of this show. And it's animated by Madhouse. So both of it is amazing. Now, I feel like the reason why this show is so unique is that it it like i've never seen a show which kind of like you know shows us how you can go to antarctica like you know like this is a very unique topic and that's why i think so many people like you know talk about it and this is so popular like this is something that is going to be you know pretty educational for uh, most of us because i i really have no idea like if someone like actually told me like you do you know how you can go to antarctica I would be clueless. I would be like, wait, so yeah, like the only thing I could say is like we could we should go on a ship or a boat. Not a boat, sorry, on a ship. So that's the only thing that I could tell. Other than that, nothing else. I have no idea. One thing that I was able to learn from this episode is that there are expeditions ships, as far as I could understand, that goes to you know, like uh, these type of like you know, Antarctic and these type of faraway places. So you need to get in one of those. Otherwise, obviously, this is not like, you know, some other place of the world where you could just take a plane or just, you know, take a ship and just go there and visit like a tourist spot. This is not something like that. This is Antarctica we are talking about. So obviously, there will be special procedures. I'm sure there will be a lot of things involved in this. Like, you know, maybe you will get to need permission from, uh, I don't know, the higher authorities or something or like, like stuff like that. Maybe you, know, you actually need something some kind of i don't know license or something I'm, I'm not sure like i'm not even sure what how you can go there and these are like you know high school girls it'll be even more difficult for them so i'm kind of curious how they're going to do this like as she said there'll be a lot of problems throughout the way number one their age they're very young they're high school students obviously i doubt anyone would actually agree to take them on the journey number two their parents you know um i'm not sure about uh, the other girl okay wait a minute where is uh what is their name i forgot uh please let me check their name uh the the main two girls that we saw in this episode um the main girl the uh her name is miyake hinata okay the other girl's name is kobuchizawa shirase shirase and hinata Wait, her name is Shirase? Wasn't that the name of the boat? I think so. Anyways, um, so yeah, uh, so these two girls, uh, Kobujisawa and uh, Miyake. So uh, yeah, as I was saying, like, you know, the other thing is their um, what do you call it? <coughs> is there uh? Parents permission. Uh, the I'm not sure about uh, Kobuchisawa's uh, like you know like thing like I don't know where whether like you know her dad is still alive or not like where does she live I'm sure there is some guardian that takes care of her like, you know she would at least need to take their permission while uh, Miyake also needs to take her mom's permission her parents permission as well that's another thing that's going to stop them from going there because uh i'm sure miyake's mom would stop her think so at least like who wouldn't like suddenly if you if, if your child says that i'm going to antarctica your high school <laughs> your child who is in high school obviously you're going to stop that person like that's always going to happen so that's another thing another thing is that's like you know a big problem is that uh this is antarctica we're talking about 
so there'll be a lot of harsh uh, you know weather conditions and stuff you have to actually um prepare for and bear like it'll be extremely cold number one number two why you're, you're going on a boat so there might be a lot i don't know like some um uh, like some problem on the way or something you know probably bad weather or something like that who knows something might happen on the way like you know like these type of uh like surprise situations might come out and you know like it might be difficult uh so these things and a lot of other things as well money is another thing like she she did save one uh million yen but i don't think one million yen is enough is it enough i'm not sure um who knows maybe it is but that's also another thing you need to like you know uh, like this is like i can just talk about this like you know, there's, there's a lot of problems that is involved in this so this is one of the most um unique things that anyone is going to do like you know high school students going to antarctica so there's there'll be a lot of difficulties on the way but that's what they are uh prepared to um go over and you know uh win over these type of uh hurdles they are prepared to win over them and keep moving forward so yeah i'm looking forward to this uh so yeah i'm, I'm this 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 looks fantastic i'm really looking forward to the upcoming episodes and i'm sure i'll learn a lot of new things a lot of new things like you know like like not only on the like you know the, how you can go there like a lot of other things i'll be able also be able to learn from this like what do you actually need to go there you know like there, there'll definitely be some uh, needs that you need to like you know for example what should you take with you these type of stuff uh, what should you be prepared for on the journey these things how do you even go there like you know like how will the boat go there like uh, these type of things like we, we're going to learn and a lot of other things as well like you know stuff about the boat and other stuff so yeah i'm i'm quite looking forward to this <clears throat> okay so here we meet two people uh, not two people uh, two girls two of the main girls uh, the first girl uh, on like you know like whose perspective we are seeing this from is miyake hinata uh, she is uh, you know she is someone who wants to make the best of her youth and she always like you know she has like a little um complex of she always she thinks that she always kind is kind of scares gets scared about most stuff and kind of backs off whenever you need to like you know jump and do something uh she cannot take that initiative that's something that she's scared about because uh one of the things that she really wants to do is make the best of youth so not taking that step is one of the biggest hurdles that she need to overcome to actually uh, make the best of his youth, of her youth. For example, as she said, that I, uh, you know, whenever there's something big that I I really want to do, I try try to start doing it, but kind of back off on on, on the in the middle because I'm scared. I cannot take that one step forward. And I think this is this this problem is very prevalent on like you know for everyone. You know, I'm 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 sure like every people might have felt something like this one time in their life uh you know like you you try to do something and then you think that oh maybe this is too big of a step i probably won't be able to do it and then you back off you know this thing i'm sure all people have probably felt this even like you know, at least one time in their life and that, that's something that she is feeling and since her goal is to do uh to the make best of her youth she is actually concerned that she won't be able to make the best of her youth because she's scared about taking that one step so meeting this girl here um kobuchizawa shirase meeting her uh completely like lit something within her she saw the what can i say like she saw a person who is doing the same thing that she wants to do and she is like you know she's she's going to take that step forward uh kabuchi she has i'm going to call her shirase uh, shirase is going to take that step and she saw that and she realized that yeah this girl is going to make the best of her youth which unfortunately i have never been able to do i've never been able to take that one step forward 
And um, I'm sure like every people sometimes in their life feels that, what am I even doing? You know, like, like I'm, I'm, I'm living the best time of my life. This is my young, you know, this is my youth. And it's just going away every day. The clock is ticking. And I'm sure everyone feels like this sometime in their life. And you realize that you've done nothing in your life, worthwhile in your life. And it kind of saddens you. <laughs> so this girl is like, you know, going through the same thing. But I have to say, like, you know, she, she, she's still very young. Obviously, she has a lot more left for her youth. And... <clears throat> like not only on in her youth like you know like if you if, if you have that thing if you have that drive uh even in your old days you can do stuff like you know like uh, your age cannot stop you to do something worthwhile and something that you enjoy or something that you think that you should do your age cannot be that barrier that holds you down so like you know it's obviously like you know in your youth you can do a lot more stuff you know you have more energy you have more time you know and it's it's, it's a lot a lot better because you start early but still like you know like uh, age cannot be that barrier that holds you down but she wants to do something in her youth and she's feeling that yeah my time is going away and seeing this girl in front of her making like you know trying to take that one step she felt that fire lit in her uh, heart and she 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 decided that yeah i'm also going to take that one step alongside her like all like you know like even at the, at the end when uh, she has said that i'm doing this like you know to find my mom i'm going to antarctica everyone says that oh this is impossible you cannot do this like you know and there have also been friends who first encouraged me that yeah i'll help you i'll go alongside you but then because of other stuff obviously their family their friends telling that yeah this is impossible like stop and they, they never come back so <clears throat> will you help me out will you come with me and as soon as she says that like before that um <clears throat> Miyake, uh, Hinata, uh, she, she was just saying that I'm going to support you. And then as soon as she says that, she also says that, she realizes that, yeah, this is my one chance to actually step into that world which I have always dreamed about. And I can do it like, you know, like I'm scared to do it alone, but I have a friend here now. I can do it with her. So she decides to take that chance. And even like, you know, in the end, she was kind of hesitating, I think, like there was like, it was raining and stuff. And she was like in her room, kind of, uh, you know, under her blankets. And then she suddenly realizes that, yeah, what am I doing? Like, this is my one and like, you know, the last chance that I have that I can actually do something. So I should not stop here. I should move forward and go alongside her. So <clears throat> yeah, and she takes that one step finally. Uh, successful in you know beating her own fear so yeah this was very well done this episode was such such a great you know first episode and at, at the beginning we are kind of shown uh, like you know like as she says like i cannot take that one step we see that from with our own eyes as she i cannot a very simple thing like i want to play hooky now i i'm i know like you know like i think in japan like Playing hooky, like, you know, like not going to school is a very big deal. I think I'm not sure, but I think there's like <coughs> a specific amount of allotted days that you can actually take break, not break, but you know, like if you have fever, if you, if you are like sick or something, that's the amount of time that you can, like, you know, not come to school. Um, and they're very strict with attendance, I think, in, in, Jap in Japan, in Japanese school. Uh, I'm not sure like I, as, as far as I've seen from anime I'm this is just based on that um, so like you know like one or two days like you know playing hooky is a pretty big deal uh, unless and until you're a delinquent you know and that's why like you know like she was saying that oh like one day I, I, I have to play hooky like that was such a big thing for her and you know because she has always uh, kind of you know did things alongside the rules like you know went along the uh, path that everyone goes so this is like a first time thing for her and she's like oh my god like this is such a bad thing i want to play hooky <laughs> and yeah as i was saying so she in the in the beginning we see with our own eyes how she always is un unable to take that one step she goes out she even changes her clothes she's like in the train station she's like you know what i'm, I'm so, so happy like you know I, I can see that like all the people all my school f like you know students are going to school whereas i'm going in the opposite direction 
and uh yeah this is what i said this is also such a weird feeling like i i myself have experience on with this like you know like um like obviously like there have has been a few times in my life when i was younger when probably there was a time when i like you know i had something to do you know with my family or something so uh, i took a break from school and when i was going on the way i saw you know, like like my school students like you know from other classes and stuff they going to school uh you wearing the uniform in the opposite direction and it is a weird feeling you know like all the time you actually go alongside them on the same direction but this time you're going in the opposite direction in your casual clothes it, it is a kind of like a weird and a kind of like a ticklish feeling <laughs> and I, I can very much relate to her at that moment so <laughs> anyways she says that yeah um like this is the first time i'm going to take that step and yeah she can, could not do it she comes back and she's like i'm scared to take that one step we can see that from with our own eyes like she has establishes that fact that i'm always unable to take that one step that i need to take so <clears throat> she like you know like we see her friend as well like uh, the other girl what was her name uh, megumi yeah i think yeah megumi uh she she's her best friend i think she she talks to her and she's like uh yeah let's just hang out <laughs> you know sometime and uh, all that she goes and tries to go back home and there she meets uh not meets but she passes you know like her uh shirase one million yen drops from her bag and that is where the cogs of fate start like you know turning uh this is one thing which completely like started everything and if she did not pick that up or if she missed it nothing would have happened i'm i'm sure like you know someone else would have found it if it was a good person that person would have probably like you know gave it to the police station and eventually i think she would have found it uh shirase but i'm not even sure if she like you know like how could she prove that that is mine like you know like that's 1 million yen you're talking about you just cannot go to the police station and say like oh this is mine like you you actually need to give a proof or something i'm not sure how she would do that it would have been a probably a messy situation at that moment mm, that could have happened or if it was someone dishonest who like you know like uh, a bad person that person would have probably just pocketed it so everything would have ended there you know she couldn't go to antarctica her dream would have ended there or maybe she would have again like you know what i think she would have tried to, like you know start collecting money again saving money again because she's that type of a person her personality she wouldn't give up that easily So she would have probably started collecting money again, like you know, uh, you know, uh, saving money again for another trip or something. She probably would have done something like that. But for um, Hinata, Miyake, Miyake Hinata, uh, she she wouldn't have met her after that. So she she wouldn't be able to take that one step alongside her. So nothing would have happened. But that money falling down was. the main key point to everything started you know advancing from there she goes to the school starts like you know asking like you know tries to recognize her where she is and meets her in the washroom gives her the money she's happy and she tells her about her dream you know and how her mom went missing after when she was in middle school she was one of the persons who went to antarctica in the expedition group and uh, yeah and she she wants to go there she wants to go to antarctica in hopes of finding her mom and trying to rub everyone in their faces that yeah i can do this because everyone who she met probably said the same thing to her that antarctica that's impossible so she wants to make them realize that yeah anything can be possible All right and Okay and then like you know like the next scene we see uh what's her name Miyake Miyake yeah i will forget that name Miyake kind of uh thinking about the whole situation her seeing that she she can see that she is that one person who's taking that first step which she herself has never been able to take and that attracts her and she starts trying to find out more about antarctica and stuff she starts checking the book out and everything uh meets her in the middle of in the you know during school hours and sees someone's trying to bully her for money those girls and she tricks them helps her out 
and um shira said talks to her about uh her dream you know why she wants to do this and you know all the other stuff and how she even like you know like talk to this to other people to their friends and everything but at the beginning a few of them were encouraging but then they like you know stopped and she is being kind of like being bullied as well and she did say something which is kind of interesting i never thought about she says that uh, like you know the thing, whole thing about the teacher you know like that um uh miyake lies to the about the teacher that the teacher is calling him and she says that oh thank god i thought the teacher really found out I do wonder what would have happened if the teacher actually found out that she has a 1 million yen. I'm not even sure. Like, probably they like, call her guardian or someone and like, you know, talk to them about that. And I don't know. But anyways, that would have been the end of her dream then. Okay, and um, yeah, and Miyake like says that I'm going to encourage you. Can I do anything to help? She also says, then join me join me in my expedition uh and that's the thing that actually you know like starts everything now i feel like shirase uh, actually told that half believing that she would not you know join her because as she said that there was, has been a lot of friends that who told her that yeah i'm going to help you i'm going to join you but they never come came so she says that half believing that she wouldn't come and half believing that yeah she might you know, there was like a 50 50 thing going on uh, because the way she smiled there that showed that you know she was not obviously she was not fully convinced but i think this thing for um what do you call it miyake was the trigger that you know made her like realize that yeah i want to do this because i have a chance we've seen her always like you know like not take being able to take that one step but if she has a friend with her she might be able to do that at this time so seeing this chance obviously she started you know like thinking like what could she do like you know like all the other stuff she is scared she cannot do this this that she contemplates about all the stuff but then finally on the day she you know takes that one step goes to the train station and um you know meets her and she's happy you know uh, she does say then like you know the 50 50 in her head that will she come will she not come completely like you know turns to 100 percent that she has come so and she like you know gives her the big smile because obviously like you know like even though she is showing that yeah i can do this on my own you know having one person at least join you in this big thing is is such a weight off of your shoulders you know like you you have someone to actually rely on like it's a huge thing this is not that yeah you're going to go to like you know your friend's house or something i don't know like for, to, to some other country it's not something like that you're going to antarctica and that's a huge thing like nobody knows what's going to happen like you know like it's, it's like a big burden and she's all alone so like you know realizing at that moment that yeah there is someone who will help me and i can rely on her put like you know so many things like you know like so such a burden like went off of her shoulders and she she was happy at that moment genuinely happy and uh, yeah and having a friend you know like a, a company in your journey in itself is such an enjoyable thing so yeah that was that was a great scene and then they start talking you know like and th th here we can see you know the shift in in the way they interacted with each other like it's such a great like you know way they did it before this all of the time I, I, we could see that um shirase always kind of kept a little distance with Miyake, you know, like she was thankful to her and everything, but at the same time, they had like you know they they had that this invisible wall between them. They had like kept kept their distance, obviously because they met each other for the first time, you know. But here, after this scene, the next scene we see her completely changing and like you know her like you know having fun with uh, <clears throat> Miyake and just like you know being herself, like you know taking photographs, eating stuff, and like you know like sharing meals sleeping you know like with the shoulders on their uh, not shoulders sorry with the heads on each other's shoulders and that that wall gets broken down at that moment as she realizes that yeah this person will be like you know someone who will uh, always be by my side all, along this journey and that's when like you know like all you know like th that weird thing like you know that was separating them that uh, thing kind of broke down and they became best not best but they became very good friends at that moment and 
that really shows like you know how it like you know like as soon as she realized that yeah yeah i can i can probably like you know trust this person and i can rely on this person so yeah and then they start on their journey to find uh, not find but to check out the boat and here we go the boat's name is also shirase like i noticed this for the, this time you know like the boat's name is shirase so i wonder if it's it is the same boat that her mom went you know I, f I feel like that is it because she did say that we are going to check out a boat and it it did seem like she actually has some connection to the boat so i'm guessing she might know some people within the boat you know who knows maybe the captain or someone she knows she has she's previously acquainted with or something we'll have to wait for that for the next episode and uh, since since the boat's name is shirase and her title is also shirase there is definitely some connection so yeah and then in the ending scene after the credit scene we see the other girl who was like you know the cashier her also kind of checking out the globe she's like wait a minute um we are over here and Anta antarctica is over here they were talking about going to antarctica is that even possible and i'm sure she was she was calculating or something <laughs> so obviously we know she she's probably someone who's going to join us because she was in the opening and she's probably she'll probably be one of the girls in the main group so yeah probably the next episode we'll see her getting her joining the team or something we'll see so yeah so that was it fantastic first episode i loved it and this is this is such a unique thing i'm really looking forward to checking this whole anime out and uh, yeah so every week i'm going to react to one episode this week uh, this day episode number one the next week same time i'll try to keep it on the same time um episode number two i'll react to it so yeah that's it thanks so thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to a place further than the universe episode number one if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah so that's it guys and uh, yeah i'm really looking forward to this i i've heard a lot of good things about it and i can understand after watching the first episode you know like all of those things are completely true i'm i'm pretty excited to check this whole like you know this anime out and uh, this will be a great journey we'll learn a lot of new things and you know this is something so unique going to antarctica perfect i can't wait to watch the other episodes so see you guys next week with episode number two reaction so until then goodbye and have a nice day